wanted my own microscope since I was six years old. When I was six, I got a microscope, but it was one of those junky Discovery Kids kinds and not the good ones. So it broke the first day of using it. I didn't even get to look at anything. But a few years later, Mom found the perfect microscope. My microscope's name is Mika. And we take her to Riverwalk Park. We take her to a lot of places in a little bag. Not the Ziploc bags. She's too big for that. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to look at? Well, I like looking at flowers, but I will not look at bugs. Hello. So go try to find the weirdest thing you can Hello. find and collect it in your test tube and let's look at it under the microscope. Look at <laughs> I want to no. see you. <laughs> Where's the so, stingy metal? The okay. stinging, this is stinging nettle. What does it look like? And it she's looks like this. It. But don't no, touch no. it because it stings you. One time when we went to the Kern River, I looked at some stinging nettle under the microscope. And I felt stinging nettle before, and it hurts. When you look at it, it looks like a nice plant without the microscope. But when you look with the microscope, it, you can see why it hurts, because it looks ferocious. The barbs on the stinging nettle, because they're super sharp and they're curved, the, the barbs look really big. When you touch stinging nettle, because I ran into a whole bush of them, and it hurts, because when the barbs touch you, it feels like a bee sting, but it's a plant. I mean, it feels not as bad as a bee sting, but it, but it hurts really bad. Your class is really lucky to be able to look through Mika microscope today. She's a really neat microscope. The first thing you want to do when you use your microscope is turn the light on. And you could shine the bottom light, or you could shine the top light, or you could shine both at the same time. Now the next thing you want to adjust is the width of the eyepieces, and you want to make them match the width of your eyes. Right now, I want you to take your hands and spread these apart and put them together until you see that just one circle. So most kids, you put them all the way together, so smash them all the way together, and then just a titch, just a tiny bit, you move them out. You want the microscope to be touching right at the top of your eyebrow, you'll notice that the closer you get, the wider your field of vision is. Okay, so now you're ready to focus it. So here's your focus knob right here. Okay. You're gonna move it up and down until you can see your sample. Now, sometimes it takes a lot of practice to really get it into sharp focus. It's not impossible, it just takes some practice. So if you're having trouble focusing, this is what I recommend doing. Move the knob all the way till it stops, either up or down. Then you know you're either as high as you can go or as low as you can go. And then start turning the knob the other way slowly until you see your subject come into focus. Go down a little. Do you see it yet? No. Kind of. Keep going. Now scientists have to work at something for a while till they get it just right. Oh, and I almost forgot, there is one more thing. You notice the black thing at the bottom? There's a 2x and a 4x. You can actually turn that around, and that will zoom it in. Okay, let's just make this is on two times. It's on four times, so we're gonna click it. Okay, you heard the click. So now we've changed our optics, so you're seeing it further away, but it helps you focus it when you're further away. But once you get the Mika the microscope focused, it really shows you some amazing detail. I can see a bit of the dirt. Can you see a bit? I see like this box right now. Well, let's see what you right got. Right there. Oh, you're almost focused. Yeah, that's good. You focused on the dirt. 